What's up, Sexy? I'm Lexi, and welcome to Interesting One. Th there are a bunch of garter snakes in a giant ball. That is all you need to know, and it's in Canada. I didn't know it was war yeah, warm enough in Canada for snakes to snake, but uh, apparently it does, and apparently they turn into HR Geiger, Giger, whatever. I can't remember how to English now. Both of kill it. <laughs> I know there's garter snakes on another. I, I don't like it. Solar panel bench with wireless chargers on either side. Horatia split. That's really cool. I'm, I'm curious how this works, because if the solar panels just charge batteries inside of the benches. This is kind of a meh system. But if these are permanently attached and the solar panels are feeding back into the grid when people aren't sitting on them, and then the grid powers the chargers, especially if it's like wireless charging, which I think is fairly efficient when it's not in use. Like it's, I don't remember. I remember. Don't quote me on that one. Then this is fantastic. You could do this to like all of the bus stops in like a fairly low density area or like an outdoor shopping center. That would be perfect for this. A Chippewa Indian named John Smith who lived in the woods near Cass Lake, Minnesota, claimed to be 137 years old before he died in 1922. Photo taken in 1915. I wouldn't be surprised. It looks like he's made out of stone. And I mean, Minnesota. Like, Minnesota's not kind to anyone with its weather, so... That is such a really cool photo, though. That's just like, I love properly done photography. The true size of Africa. Oh, yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really big. Yeah, I think most people in Europe don't realize how big the U.S. is, and most people in the U.S. don't realize how big Africa is. Alexander the Great, 330 BC, facial reconstruction from his marble bust. Ah, ah. You could, could you could you make it not look quite so uncanny, Valley? Looks like you built an AI of Alexander the Great, and it now now knows the solution to all of the world's problems is to eliminate humanity. This huamoa banana, also known as the Maya Hawaiian plantain, is a large, thick banana with a creamy texture and orange pink pulp. These bananas are larger and th than average bananas and grow up to 10 inches long and four inches wide. <laughs> Uh, uh, banana. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Look, look, I didn't phrase it, okay? I didn't write that. Baby bees in their nest. What? Kind of cute. I'm still terrified of bees, so like, no, but... <laughs> For people that find, find, find bees cute, y'all must be in heaven right now. In 1957, a policeman is shown issuing a ticket to a woman for wearing a bikini. At that time, it was offensive to wear a bikini in public places, such as a beach. This particular incident and happened to be at a beach in Rimini, which is located in the Adriatic coastal area of Italy. She looks like proud of it. It'll never stop surprising me the amount of audacity people are like, ah, oh, yes, you are at a beach. I will police your body and write you tickets for not dressing in XYZ manner. Found this old book in my great grandpa's basement. Someone know what this is? That That is something you should put back. That does look like a chalice of sacrament or something. I don't remember. I Oh, wait, there's text. It's, it's in weird type and I I think that's the German B thing so I'm sorry I know nothing about languages but oh thank god the comms are here to save us it is a Protestant Christian songbook in Old Polish I told you I knew nothing about languages I struggle with English most likely over a hundred years old perhaps two found this back in my hometown in Poland in August anyone care to speculate what the frack happened that looks like a prank like it, it had to be dug that hole had to be dug and they had to put the car in it that way because Otherwise, the entire front would just be crumpled. I'm kind of disappointed. Wait, there's there's no answer for that. Insane invention from the mid 1900s. Smoke an entire pack of 20 cigarettes at once. <laughs> and remember, this was thought to be extremely healthy. Constant lung cancer. I still have to wonder how people actually thought it was healthy. Like, I understand hiding it and saying it's it's not as bad as the way, as everyone says it is, you know, and trying to like limit the damage. But you can't like look at something with particulates coming off of it and be like, ah, yes, if I breathe that in. I will be better off. Like, on a primal level, that seems bad. If I stand over a fire and I breathe it in, I cough a lot. Why would I continue to breathe in smoke? Or, at the very least, if I was trying to be healthy, why would I do that? Bloody Australian Dawn. Oh, it's actually red. Oh, I thought you were just, like, insulting it. Bloody Australian Dawn. That's amazing. There was a sunset over my first apartment like this, and the entire sky lit up this shade of red, and it was, like, eerie. People were actually stopping just to, like, look up. 100 million year old dinosaur. Very well preserved. Discovered accidentally by miners in Canada. <laughs> We're just digging for rocks. Um, it's not a rock. Well, technically it is, but it's a friend-shaped rock. Looking at these kind of fossils, I'm sure at least some of the legends
legends about dragons came from dinosaur fossils. Cause like that, that looks dragony. Place Dupo Care in Brussels was nicknamed the Times Square of Europe until almost all billboards were banned because Belgians considered them an eyesore. Good. That's so much prettier as a place to like, I love how Coca-Cola managed to like, wow, good, <laughs> good job, Coca-Cola. I gotta admire the audacity. Now I, I love neon lights and flashing stuff and all that, but I don't think it should be like dead center. I like the idea of like the Vegas Strip where it's just like, this is a place where there's a lot of commerce and a lot of noise and a lot of light. And this is where you can put all the neon and the signs and the fancy, like make this an overstimulatory area so that I can go there and get free ADHD treatment by just looking around. But Times Square has always felt really weird to me because like there are apartments like half a block away. There's actual offices where people do actual work like in the high rises that make up Times Square. Like people are trying to get stuff done and you're over here like blasting some ad for a bank in God knows how many lumens in broad daylight. Fiat factory with a rooftop racetrack in Italy. <laughs> That's actually a smart, a smart use of space. No, I like this. This is cool. If you're in a fairly dense area, but you need a racetrack to like test cars or I don't even know if this are these, this is actually a test track. Like it's just, there's a whole bunch of different cars on there. I love more, the top of more buildings needs to have racetracks on them. We just, we just don't have enough racetracks in general. Or like the general uh, autocross, like we need more autocross tracks. Website idea. You input the year you graduated high school and the website generates a list of outdated facts and concepts you were taught in school that has since been disproven. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Oh, I'd, like, I, I'd be like totally up for that because I'm sure there was stuff I was taught in school that I haven't re-educated myself on since then that I've just not thought about. Like some people just don't like to learn or don't like that things change, especially in science and medical fields. When I was a teenager, they didn't think my my eye condition was hereditary or related to, to uh, mitochondria at all. And now it's like 15 years later, they're like, oh yeah, no, we know exactly what causes it, what gene it is. And yes, it's hereditary. And also these are all the other things that like it can do. Like science changes very fast. And it's fine to not want to have to keep up with all of that, but but also then don't pretend like you know stuff. Ta-da! Thousands of years ago, the Inuit and Yupnik people of Alaska and Northern Canada carved narrow slits into ivory, antler, and wood to create the world's first snow goggles. <gasps> I saw these when I was a kid and I was fascinated with them because I couldn't imagine you needing goggles for, for snow. Like it didn't compute. I, I always just looked at snow as being cold sand and I couldn't imagine getting snow blindness by looking at the sand because you can't. Um, but I'd also never seen snow. So this diminished exposure to direct and reflected ultraviolet rays, thereby reducing eye strain and preventing snow blindness. Yeah, I, I remember seeing these. The, I think that picture on the left was like the exact picture I saw in a book. It was some random like kids book full of science facts. I, it was weird. I just I, I still like museums like don't at me. How Hollywood uses filters and colors to portray different countries in movies. India. Oh, that's actually a very like satisfyingly poppy saturated Brazil. Middle East. Why? Why do they put so much noise on it? Lord. Africa. The sky's on fire for some reason. United States. Yeah, that, that seems about right from what I've seen of US films. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico is just a sepia tone filter. I don't know why. Like whenever, even if I think of like the Southwest region of the US, I don't think everything yellowed. I think sand and really blue sky because like you, it's a very panoramic landscape skate pictures that I've seen always have a lot of sky in them. So like, that's the contrast I'm always looking for is that uh, almost close to that orange and turquoise color scale, which is a thing in photography I'm not going to go into, but like always, I swear. Uh, Japan has no sky, <laughs> just hasn't loaded. Um, I guess they're supposed to illustrate that it's always at night, but you have building shadows. So I, I <laughs> Japan has mixing, missing a missing sky box. Western Europe, yeah, why is it so desaturated? Wow. Grocery delivery robot in Finland. This is still very cool. Uh, these were used for food delivery for a while at some universities in the US. I'm glad to see they're expanding, but yeah, this exact form factor. I think the wheels were slightly different. That one's clearly had a smack on the rear. But yeah, these are great, especially for people that can't drive. Absolutely love them. Wish they were in more places. I know delivery, grocery delivery exists, but I still feel too bad making somebody else like a complete stranger. Like, go get my groceries. Even if like I'm paying them, it just, just feels weird. I just feel bad. Like, I, I don't need to eat at your expense. It's fine. Kim Ung Yong began speaking at the age of six months. Uh, he could fluently speak four languages uh-huh. Korean, Japanese, German, and English at the age of two. Jesus. At age three, he understood and could solve algebra. At age eight, he was invited to America by NASA as a researcher, where he got his master's in science at 15. That's so cool. I absolutely love learning stuff, and I, I would really love the ability to just look at things and just be like, yes, I have seen this once. I completely understand it. The end. First lamb 
come grown in an artificial womb. What? Wow. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little squidgy science, and I don't really do squidgy science, but that's really cool. That's so cool. In 1884, the Statue of Liberty was photographed in Paris, France, just before it was disassembled and shipped to New York. That's actually a different picture. I may have been thinking of like an artist painting or drawing or something as it was being disassembled. That's so cool. Like, yeah, this is this is where it was before we sent it all the way across the freaking Atlantic. My buddy took this at Capitol Reef Canyon, Utah. Looks like a lizard eye to me. <laughs> Is that from the... Oh my god, it's from the eclipse. That's wild. That's so cool. See, that is something worth burning your retinas out for. It's not. Please don't do this. Eminem's loose leaf notes with lyrics to lose yourself. That's neat. I love seeing the scratch outs, and I love seeing the stuff that were just like, no, this didn't quite go right. So it makes you feel way less bad about mistakes. Scientists have successfully reanimated cells from a woolly mammoth 28,000 years old. Mm. I mean, that's just the woolly mammoth. You didn't reanimate this whole thing, did you? I know they didn't, but you better not have. What have I told you about reanimating the entire woolly mammoth cell structure? Sound like the pissed off parent of a genius. The photographer Leonardo Sens waited three long years to take this fantastic shot in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh, that's why. <laughs> this is the kind of shot that you buy like a specific camera for. Disney tried to be creative with marketing back in the day. Disney hired some little people to dress as Pinocchio and wave at people at the premiere of Pinocchio. They left them on a balcony with enough food and water for the day, but by late afternoon, they were all <clears throat> not wearing any clothes. Uh, the costumes were too hot. Yeah. Drunk and screaming swear words at people? That's amazing. Yeah, my first thought was like, when did Pinocchio premiere? Because like, full bulky mascot costume without any sort of cooling packs or anything like that? Uh, you are going to just be incinerated. A New York City police officer poses hanging over time Square in 1920. Oh god. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. I don't like that. That's just wild. Yeah, no, that that's just pure terror. No, thank you. Okay, so uh everyone at home laughed at me painting rocks to look like strawberries, but I found out that oh wait, that that if you pet put them around your berry plants and bushes before the fruit appears, the birds will peck the red rocks. They hate pecking super hard things, so they will leave the fruit when it appears. We have eight crows day after day out by my raspberry bushes and after the rocks were uh, placed around, no crows. I'd rather have the crows than the strawberries, but that's just me. Uh, that's amazing. They, they were just like, oh man, those strawberries <laughs> gone off, man. They are stale as hell. I don't know what they're growing over there, but they ain't doing it right. The effect of shielded versus unshielded streetlights on light pollution, Dunedin, New Zealand. Oh, that's insane. I mean, you can see the stars in both, but like, that's so much better. They, they pulled off all of that within five years, and it looks so Oh, so wonderful. Imagine trying to get that many people to agree to just a simple thing like that in America. My dad, boy on right side of left photo, and mom, left side of right photo, photographed in same location, didn't meet for another 20 years. Uh, boy on right side of left photo. Boy on right side. Okay, so the shy one, got it. And then the uh, the left side of the right photo. Okay, so the two closest to each other. It's like, you two in 20 years are going to meet, and y'all are going to get married, and you're going to have a kid, and then they're going to post this to Reddit. And actually, it's really cool. So congratulations, y'all. That, that sounds really, that sounds awesome. This is what my neighbor's Tesla looks like after finally digging it free from two meters of snow here in Norway. <laughs> I love they didn't even try. They didn't even try to get... That's beautiful. I love it. That is the proper way to dig your car is just leave all the snow on top and just drive around with it. It's not safe, but it's fun. Shut up. A grocery store in the early 1980s. All glass bottles, no plastic in sight. Okay, yes, and also no. Early 1980s might not have had as much plastic, but I could be very wrong on this. I, I, would, I, I know we had plenty of plastic already in packaging by then. I will concede it was less common, especially if you look at, like, older computer hardware. Uh, it tends to come with a uh, formed styrofoam and then an anti-static bag or something like that instead of, like, a clamshell or shrink wrap or a plastic bag. Mating termites trapped in a 38 million year old piece of amber. Oh, there's so many jokes I can make here, and every single one of them is gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> but y'all have fun! In 2009, Stephen Hawking sat alone at a time traveler's party! Yeah, he organized. He sent out the invitations a year later. <laughs> to who? I wanna know who! Oh, that's brilliant. God, I love that. That's hilarious. I travel all over the UK for work. Google keeps a track of where I've been. Here is a result of 10 years of working at the 
this company. Each pin is a location I visited over the course of 10 years. Jesus. The middle is just a seat. This is a mosh pit of locations. How do you do it? I hate traveling. My car is not too bad. Like, if I could drive, I would probably travel a little bit more. And I love trains, but planes suck. Oh, yeah, the UK, they have actual public transport. Forgot about that. Genuinely forgot about that. Wasn't trying to be snarky. Clever spider has spun a web around this light bulb so lures and traps insects from all sides. Uh, very cool. Very interesting. I love it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't spider. No, no, because I just, um, every time I go through that door, now i'm gonna be afraid i'm gonna unlock the door and all of a sudden i feel a little tiny tickle on the back of my neck and there's gonna be a spider there no 